beginning in Brest, but heading to Londarno for a first ever finish in the small town. 197.8 kilometers for stage one, more than two and a half thousand meters of climbing and six categorized climbs. So building up to a brand new uphill finish at the Côte de la Fosse aux Loups in Londarno, the Tour de France began with plenty of attacks straight from the off. Fresh legs, plenty of ambition and everybody looking to be up the road. Finally, a six-man group did get up the road. Bonamor, the local rider, was joined by Van Poppel, Rodriguez, Perez, Schelling and Swift. And behind, they were never really given more than 3 minutes 40 seconds. A real fight for the first King of the Mountains jersey took a different turn when Ida Schelling attacked with 85 kilometers to go. The rest of the breakaway would be swallowed up as he went away and took that King of the Mountains jersey. Not a bad result on debut for the young Dutchman who was having some fun. Bora Hansgrohe taking their first prize of this tour. Peter Sagan, their sprinter, would be involved in the fight for the sprint points behind. Kele Buen taking most of the rest of those. And the moment when Schelling knew he would be in the King of the Mountains jersey was a special one on the day. The first of two horror moments of the day, however, came when a spectator sign took down Tony Martin and most of the rest of the peloton. The first of two bad crashes forced Jesus Sutilin to abandon the Tour de France. Those who'd missed out waited for the rest to rejoin. Tony Martin not in a good way, but thankfully back on his bike. Into the final 30 kilometers and the race resumed at the front. The Koenig Quickstep wanting to take it up. Julien Alaphilippe, one of the favorites. Van der Poel, Van Aert with them. But a lot more riders taken down in a second crash, well inside the final few kilometers. A crash that would undoubtedly condition the Tour de France for a lot of teams. Chris Froome, after going through agony to get back to this level and return to the Tour de France, was also down, but did finish the stage. On to the final climb, and Dries Devenheins would put in a dig to lead out his mate. But Julien Alaphilippe, the world champion, would attack with well over two kilometers to go. He had a gap and continued to pull. Pierre Latour went after him for Total Energie. Wart van Aert briefly tried, Roglic as well with Pogacar, but nobody could get near. Julien Alaphilippe proving that yellow was once again his favourite colour of the rainbow. The world champion's jersey will be exchanged for a yellow jersey after Julien Alaphilippe returned to the Tour de France to win stage one. Second place went to Michael Matthews, third place and bonus seconds to Primoz Roglic, but the winner and first leader Alaphilippe, the world champ. Congrats, man. Congrats. Thank you, Lulu. Thank <laughs> you.